Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in Germany in search of masters and PhD opportunities. So particularly we're looking at the DAD scholarship. That's the DAAD scholarship. It's a very popular scholarship in Germany for both masters and PhD. And um, for that, there are different categories of scholarship. Today we'll be looking at the DAD EPOS scholarship. So without any further delay, let's begin and look at the opportunities together. So today I'll talk you through how to apply for the scholarship and also show you where to get materials on how to apply, like this document on how to write a letter of motivation for the DAD scholarship or materials I've shared already on my channel. I'm also a DAD scholar, by the way. I got the DAD scholarship, I think, two, three years ago. And there are lots of materials here on how to apply for the scholarship, like the CV or the motivation letters or how to fill the DAD form. Lots of it already on this channel. So this is just an addition to what we have already. So let's begin without any further delay. So this is the DAD EPOS scholarship. There are different kinds of DAD scholarships, as I said. This is what the DAD EPOS scholarship, and it covers masters and PhD for different disciplines. Let's go through what the uh, financial package is before we look at the different courses. So for the duration of the course is between 12 to 42 months. So depending on the course you do, if it's a master's, probably one or two years, um, a PhD, three, four years. So it depends on the number of them, um, the, the kind of course rather you're doing, whether it's a master's or a PhD, and also depends on the university as well. So you're getting a stipend of over 900 euros if you're a master's student and 1,200 as a PhD student. You also get your health insurance covered and every other um, insurance related issues. You also get your travel covered to and for your country. Um, everything is covered. Then you get your monthly um, subsidy, rent subsidy. So if you're sitting in a very expensive city, let's say München, for instance, or Munich, as they call it in English, Munich is quite expensive, so you can get extra apart from these amounts specified here you can get like extra 200 or 300 to help you with your the high rent in um, very expensive cities such as munich or um, stuttgart you can also bring family and that's good news and you collect monthly allowance for your family members as well and for family here i think particularly they're referring, they're referring to your um, i think spouse and children so i had classmates who were married then and who were able to bring their spouse and children as well and they got um, maintenance allowance from dad so this is a good one if you're married partnered you have children bring them along and dad would also take care of them so for the selection criteria you have to at least have a bachelor's and a two-year work experience at least and then you should be capable of um getting like recommendation letters from those you've worked with you're also meant to fulfill the english language requirement of the course you're applying for so some courses are purely taught in english so that's fine you can apply with the english test or even a letter from your university attesting that you studied in english that's if the university would allow but if your course is taught in german you might need a german proficiency but um, the good news is that most of the courses are taught in English, so do not worry. And even when you get to Germany, you do a very brief um, course on German, even if your course is in English. So just to keep you abreast of the culture, the language, so you can make friends, ask for direction and things like that. So let's look for the eligible courses quickly. So this is the one we're looking at here, the 2024-25. Um, for 23 24 um, this year, um, they've, I think most universities have already shortlisted. So we're looking at 24, 25. And here you also get the list of eligible countries. So these are the countries, a very long list. You can see different continents, Europe. You can see Africa. There's America. There is South America, Asia. East Asia or shown here. So here you go. And I can see my country here already. Nigeria is here already. So that's great. I'm happy to see that. So check for your own country and hopefully 
your country is on the list as well. So let's move to the legible courses. So this is the legible courses. I um, maximized the view, zoomed a little bit more so we can see the different dates and different courses. And you can see the duration of the course and the deadline. So this is self-funded and this is that. So for that, you might have a different deadline compared to the self-funded students. So keep that in mind. There's also the duration of the course is also here. The language of the course is also here. So that's good. So as I said, majority of them are in English language, but a few, few of them are in German, like this one, this one on textile and machinery and so forth. And you can see this for different disciplines. You can see things in environmental sciences. You can see economics, development cooperation, engineering, regional planning, agriculture, environment, nature. There is medicine, there is social science and law. There is media studies as well. So check for the course that interests you and go for it. So if you're interested, for instance, in this course in um, international development and economics, just click on it. It takes you directly to the course page. Then go to the admissions or applying page and see the different application requirements. And know if you're applying for that, you might have to produce an extra document. You might need to submit an extra document. So apart from these ones, they might ask you to submit the DAD form. I'll be looking at that DAD form together very soon on the main DAD page. So keep an eye, of course, on the DAD um, a particular information pertaining to the DAD scholarship because you're not a self-funded student, you're a DAD student, so you want to keep, um, you want to keep a, be kept abreast on the documents to submit. There's also a document here on the motivation letter. This is like one of the common documents you submit, not just for the DAD, but for general scholarships. Most scholarships require you to submit a motivation letter, a letter of motivation, and this document here just helps you with tips on how to write one and i'll leave a link to this of course in the description box of this video and of course there are materials already on this channel on how to write a statement of purpose letter of motivation you can see it here and i also shared the one i am used to apply for my own scholarship so i think you can check that as well the one that got me my own dad scholarship you can also check for a cv most of those documents are they're written here in the applications documents as well you can see them here so just check on my channel and then you'd um, get the gist on how to compile them an english language proficiency you can read on your own and see what letters they um, accept what um, examinations they accept and whether they give exemptions as well for those who studied already in um, undergrad in english language so let's go back to this website. So this is the main website, of course. You can see here application requirements. You can choose the country you're from. So the general application requirement, remember. For the course, you have to go straight to the course website to get particular information for the course you're applying for. So you can see the typical application requirements here. And then you can check here as well for application procedure. For the application procedure, there's also a checklist here. So remember, you do not send any document directly to that. Rather, you are sending to the participating university. You're not sending to that, but you're sending to the participating university. You can see here what they call a DAD form. This is what you attach to most of the applications you're sending to the university. A CV Europass format. Just click on this link. It takes you directly to what the Europass format is all about. Or just watch my video up there. It's very simple to create. You can just create a CV through this format. It's not difficult at all. Just follow the instruction. So you might be asking, what is the DAD form? The DAD is a special, the DAD form is a special form that you attach to your application. So this is the form. I remember just filling this form about three, four years ago. It was a delight. There is already a video on my channel on how to fill the form. So just scroll down and look for that and look for one of these videos. 
it gets out to fill the form. So it's already discussed here. We don't need to go into it um, further. And that's it, guys. In case you have further questions, kindly put them in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you. I'm quite busy at the moment. I'm trying to round off my PhD. So um, time is of essence, very busy and um, often occupied. But I'll try to get back to you when I can. But there are some obvious um, answers already on this website. And you can also check on your own reading details to see, you know, and I think they have a frequently asked questions section as well. Yeah, this is it here. You can also consult this and make sure you've done your own due diligence of digging out information before you come and ask for further information. And I hope this was useful, guys. Fully funded masters and PhD in Germany. Let's look at the list once again, the list of participating universities and eligible countries. So let's fish out that list. Where did I get the list from? Okay. Could look at that list once again to make sure or to ensure that one of your course at least is on the list. Yes, this is the list here. So hopefully this page has something for you. And as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. There are several materials already on this channel. Different materials, different countries, the UK, the US, the Netherlands, wherever you want, there are different opportunities here. So make sure you get at least one. And I will see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now. Cheers.